join Charlotte's Web. Where's Papa going with that axe? Out in the hot house. Some place where I'm going last night. Why is he doing that? Well, one of the friends is the one. She's very small and weak, so the father has to do the son a web You mean kill it? This is any smaller than other pigs? Fall a wicked, but trouble, not run off. But it's not fair. That pig couldn't help being more small, could it? All right, I let you start her on the bottom like a baby. Then you see what trouble a pig can be. Fern named the pig Wilbur. She fed him, played with him, and put him to bed. When the pig was five weeks old, Fern's father said he was big enough to sell. The next day, Wilbur went to live in a manure pile in the cellar of Zuckerman's farm. At Zuckerman's farm, Wilbur was very lonely. He tried to make friends with the other animals. Hello, would you like to play? Play? You want me to play, play, play? Can't you see I'm sitting, sitting, sitting on eggs? <laughs> Sorry. What about you, Liam? Would you like to play? <laughs> <laughs> Wilbur didn't have much luck making friends. Then one day, he heard a voice. Salutations. Salutations. What? Salutations. What are they? And what are you? Please tell me where you are. And what are salutations? Salutations are greetings. When I say salutations, it's just my fancy way of saying hello or good morning. As for my whereabouts, that's easy. I'm up here. Look, I'm waving. See me now? Oh, yes. How are you? Good morning. Salutations. Very pleased to meet you. What is your name, please? May I have your name? My name is Charlotte. Charlotte what? Charlotte A. Cavazza. But just call me Charlotte. I think you are beautiful. Charlotte and Wilbur became very good friends. As the days went by, Wilbur grew and grew. He ate three big meals a day. He became very healthy and gained a lot of weight. One afternoon, the old sheep stopped by to visit Hello, it seems to me you're putting on weight. <laughs> yes, I guess I am. And my age, it's a good idea to keep gaining them. So it's the same, I don't envy you. You know why they're burning you up, don't you? No. Why? They're burning you up because they are going to kill you, that's why. They're going to what? <laughs> <laughs> Kill you, turn you into small fish and ham. I'm an old sheep, and I do the same thing, same old business, year after year. I want to die. Save me. Somebody save me. Be quiet, Wilbur. I can't be quiet. I don't want to die. Is it true, Charlotte, what the old sheep says? Do they really plan to kill me? Well, the old sheep has been around this barn a long time. You see many spring pig come and go. If she says they plan to kill you, I'm sure it's true. I don't want to die. I want to stay in the beautiful sun in my beautiful manure pile, breathing the beautiful air. You <laughs> shall not die. Really? Who is going to save me? I am. How? I don't know yet, but I'll think of something. Charlotte thought and thought of a way to save Wilbur's life. At last, an idea came to her. She worked hard all through the night. The next morning, there in the web, neatly woven, were the words, Sun Pig. Oh, my star, and can be. It's my fault! <laughs> the news spread all over the county. Soon, everyone knew that a sign had appeared in a spider's web on the Zuckerman farm. People came from miles around to look at Wilbur and to read the words in Charlotte's web. 
One evening, a few days later, the spider called a meeting in the barn cellar. I shall begin by calling roll. Wilbur? Here. Gander? Here. You sound like three ganders. Why can't you just say here? Why do you have to repeat everything? It's my auto sympathy. <laughs> Goose? Here, here, here. Sheep? <laughs> yeah. Lamb? Here. Yeah. Templeton? Templeton? Well, we're all here except the rat. I guess we can proceed without him. Now, all of you must have noticed what's been going on around here the past few days. The message I wrote in my web, praising Wilbur, has been received. The Zuckermans have fallen for it, and so has everyone else. Zuckerman thinks Wilbur is an unusual pig, and therefore he won't want to kill him and eat him. I dare say Wilbur's life will be saved. Hooray! Thank you very much. Now, I call this meeting in order to get suggestions. I need new ideas for the web. People are already getting sick of reading the word sun pig. If anyone can think of another message or remark, I'll be glad to weave it into the web. Have a pig to flee. <laughs> no good. It sounds like a rich dessert. How about terrific, terrific, terrific? <laughs> Cut it down to one terrific and it'll do nicely. I think terrific might impress Zuckerman. But Charlotte, I'm not terrific. That doesn't make a bit of difference. People believe almost anything they see in print. <laughs> Does anyone know how to spell terrific? I thought it's T double E double R double R double F double I double C C C. <laughs> what kind of an acrobat do you think I am? Sorry. Sorry, sorry. I agree that this would be such a new, new victim to wear. If it would push life to be saved, if Charlie shall cut in large, she can give him a friend of red, simple chin, can fish the dump, a kid on magazines, and Charlie can copy the large. Good idea, but I don't think we can count on Templeton. I'll pay him to help. Here he comes now. What's up? We're holding a meeting. We'll break it up. <laughs> Meeting's boring. Templeton, Solid needs new words on the web. So next time when it causes a doubt, Bring back some old matching clippings. They could help for safe Wilbur's life. Well, let him die. Why should I worry? You'll worry, all right. <laughs> but the next winter comes, and Wilbur is dead. And Wilbur comes down here with a nice pair of warm slobs. All right, I'll bring back a word if I find one. That night, Templeton explored the dock. He found a clipping from a magazine and brought it back to Charlotte. How's this? It says crunchy. Crunchy would be a good word for the web. <laughs> Just the wrong idea. Could it be worse? We don't want Zuckerman to think Wilbur is crunchy. He must start thinking about bacon. We must advertise Wilbur's novel qualities. Not a safetyness. Go get another word, Templeton. The rat grumbled and returned to the dump. He soon came back with a strip of cloth. How's this? It's the label of an old shirt. I'm sorry, Templeton, but free shrunk is out of the question. <laughs> <laughs> we want Zuckerman to thank Wilbur's nicely filled out novel, shrunk up. You'll have to try again. What do you think I am, a messenger, Des Moines? <laughs> I'm not going to spend all my time chasing down to the dump after, after advertising material. <laughs> Just once more, please. I'll tell you what I'll do. I know where there's a package of soap flakes in the woodshed. It has writing on it. I'll bring 
you a pack a piece of that package. Templeton went off to the woodshed and returned with a strip of cardboard. There, how's that? <laughs> with new radiant action. What does it mean? How should I know? You asked for words. I suppose the next thing you want to do is to fetch is a dictionary. <laughs> with new radiant action. Wilbur. Yes, Charlotte. I want to see you in action to see if you're radiant. Race to the end of your yard. Now back again, faster. <laughs> Jump into the air. <laughs> okay, Wilbur, you can go back to sleep. Templeton, the so bad will do. I'm not sure that Wilbur's action is exactly radiant, but it is interesting. <coughs> Mr. Zuckerman was so excited about Wilbur that he decided to take him to the fair. Charlotte and Templeton went along too, just in case. That night, Templeton was anxious to go exploring and started to sneak away. Don't forget to bring me back a word, Templeton. I shall be riding for the last time tonight. The rat mumbled to himself and disappeared into the shadows. On the fairgrounds, he found some wonderful treasures and feasted.